somewhere in the Alps. So, Agent Gracefully, you're part of our spy exchange program from Canada? Try not to say my name too often. I'm trying to travel incognito. Actually, you're traveling in the Alps. What do you have there? I got something very important out of a smelly trash can. Well, of course it's smelly if you got it out of a trash can. You need a hobby. No, not smelly. Smelly! As in the society of meaningless evil larceny lying and yelling. Of course, our evil nemesis. Spy Fox, you've got to get this trash bag to Spy Corps headquarters. No, I've got a better idea. I'd better get this trash bag to Spy Corps headquarters. Oh, and take this gadget from Professor Quack. You may need it. What is it? Dehydrated skis. Inside of this little pill is a pair of skis. All you have to do is add water. And pray tell, why would I need a pair of skis? I came to get information, not recreation. You may need them to get away from those bad guys. Good luck, Spy Corps. Guys, got water? I've got to get out of here. Although this would be a nice getaway cottage, I've got to get this bag to Spy Corps headquarters. It's a bucket of water. Please stand by. Calling Monkey Penny. How's it going, Spy Fox? It's not. It's at a standstill. Have you checked your notepad? I will do that. Thanks, Monk. Anytime, Spy. Monkey Penny, out. Mobile commands fun. Nothing like a game of things from space to get the old heart pumping. If I had skis on, I could show those goons why I won the Spy Corps Freestyle Ski Jump Competition. I've got to get out of here, although this would be a nice getaway. That won't do me any good. It's a bucket of water. 
that won't do me any good. Mobile Command Center. Here's where my notes go. I use the talk balloons to gather information. That's not going to do me any... This is an unusual pill. Here... Water, work your magic. The dehydrated skis are now rehydrated. Feet don't fail me now. Skis, I mean. Which way should I go? I wonder which way I should go. Did you miss me, Chief? So you've analyzed the trash bag, I see. And what have you found? It's a model box 1-1000 scale for one evil robot. On the side it says, Some Assembly Required. Sounds like an excellent title for one of my adventures. It has a mailing label that reads, To La Roche, Care of Chateau La Roche, World Spare. Hmm. Inside the box are assembly instructions. You'd better take these with you, spy box. Wow! You can learn a lot by reading. If Smelly is involved, they must be up to their usual no goodness. You'd best go check out this world's fair. Monkey Penny and Quack have already set up the mobile command center. I'm on my way, Chief. Spybox, are you okay? Shaken but not stirred, Monkey Penny. So it looks like we're on to something big. Yes, I think Smelly is up to some monkey business, Monkey Penny. And it looks like it's up to you, me, and Professor Quack to get to the bottom of it. Well, you and me anyway, Monkey Penny. I brought the assembly instructions I got out of the Smelly trash bag. Well, of course it's Smelly if you got it out of a trash bag, Spy Fox. No, Monkey Penny, not Smelly. Smelly, as in, the Society for Meaningless Evil Larceny Lying and Yelling. Our evil nemesis. Why don't you leave those assembly instructions here with me? Then you can refer to them whenever you're back here at the Mobile Command Center. And remember, you can contact me via your spy watch at any time. Don't forget to check out the spy vending machine, Spy Fox. It's full of new gadgets for you to try out. I'm sure you'll find some of them quite useful. Thanks. Now I need to go get busy and go give that LaRoche up a chateau, LaRoche, a visit and find out just what he's up to. The Stealth Vac. How does it work? You just hook up the handy nozzle, then press vacuum to suck up the particles into the handy travel bag. Or press reverse back to blow the particles housed in the travel bag back out through the nozzle attachment. And it does it all in perfect silence. Ingenious, Professor Quack. I'd prefer those between two slices of bread, but when duty calls, This is a rather cool-looking device. What is it? 
one of those novelty gadgets that lets you see what you'll look like in 50 years? It's an ID maker. Of my own creation, of course. It's for making identification cards. Fascinating. How does it work? You place a photo in the photo slot, choose an occupation, and any name you like, then press the Process ID button. A completed ID will pop out of the machine. Professor, you're amazing. What if I made an ID, but then I change my mind and want to make a different one? Well, if you don't like the ID you created, you can make another card. Just reset the name and occupation. Insert a new photo, then press the Process ID button again. That sounds like fun. Creating false ID cards is something only secret agents can do, and then only when we're on a case. Right! It says World's Fair Entrance. entrance is closed and it's locked up tighter than an impervious steel door. Excuse me, sir. What seems to be the problem? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings, but unfortunately, I cannot allow you to enter through the service entrance. I'm sorry, but I can only let cashiers with proper ID in today. See? It has the job title of cashier and a matching photo. I seem to have lost my ID. Can you let me in without one? I feel your pain, sir. Really, I do. Unfortunately... It seems that I'll have to find a way to get the proper ID. A free photo booth. Just one of the many joyous pleasures in life. It says free photos. It says free. Tourist, cashier, dentist, friend, arena, none, clap, balance, jockey, dishwasher, fisherman, wrestler, wait, golfer, tourist, cashier. Dentist. France. That's not really my best son. Nancy, Muriel, Carlton. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that you enjoy your work. 
Oh yes, I do enjoy my work. Have your admission standards changed at all? I'm sorry, sir. You still need a cashier ID card to use the service entrance. Unfortunately, I must insist that you have one. Rudy. Nell. Chuck. Reginald. Maurice. Roscoe. Nancy. Muriel. Carlton. Excellent. The photo's in place. Cashier. Helicopter pilot. Jockey. Dishwasher. Astronaut. Professional bowler. Waitress. Band leader. Ballerina. Journalist. Cashier. <laughs> Professor Quack's machine works perfectly. My identification card is complete. Have your admission standards changed at all? I'm sorry, sir. You still need a cashier ID card to use the service entrance. Unfortunately, I must insist that you have one. This would be a nice place to live. Here's where my notes go. I use the talk balloon. I expect that this will come in quite handy. I've got to hand it to you, Professor Quack. This mobile command RV is a great idea. Yes, it is very comfortable. Almost as if we're on vacation. I just hope it's a paid vacation. Have your admission standards changed at all? I'm sorry, sir. You still need a cashier ID card to use the service entrance. Unfortunately, I must insist that you have one. Here you are, sir. One cashier ID card. Oh my, I'm so happy that you were able to find it. Let me guess, it was in your other pants, wasn't it? Why, yes it was. You must be psychic. If you'll excuse me, I'm late for work and they need me in the restaurant. Oh, I understand. I won't keep you any longer. I'll just keep your ID on file for you, Carlton. Keep up the good work. Have a spectacular day. And if I don't see you tomorrow... What's the most challenging part of being a chef? Trying to blend in. My, that's quite an oven. Mind if I give it a try? Only chefs can use the kitchen equipment. In that outfit, you could possibly be a waiter, but definitely not a chef. I'm sorry, but those are the rules. Stir, stir, stir. <laughs> Come into the kitchen with Tyna. Oddly enough, the Venus flytrap is not a native of the rainforest. They actually are a native to the coast of North and South Carolina. This little fella is a long way from home. Ah, 
are Napoleon LaRoche. I should have known you'd taken up with the likes of Smelly. So Spycore has sent the famous Spy Fox to try and stop my plans for world domination. World domination? Er, uh, of course. Ah! Since you are one of the few people who could possibly understand my genius, I will explain my entire plan to you in nauseating detail. You see, I reversed the scale on the smelly evil dog bot assembly instructions. I've created a 1,000 to 1 scale, fully functioning evil dog bot. Just where do you think you can hide such a monstrosity? You silly spy. You're standing in it. Of course, you've disguised the evil dog bot as the centerpiece for the World's Fair. Complete with a revolving restaurant. One has to eat, no? Observe the means to my world domination. People buying tickets for the World's Fair do not realize that as they file through the turnstiles, they are unwittingly winding the highly advanced clockwork mechanism within the evil dog bot. When the one millionth person has filed through, the dog bot, now wound to maximum capacity, will embark upon its horrifying rampage of destruction! <laughs> Once I have unleashed the dog bot, all the world's leaders will sit up and beg for mercy! It is unstoppable! It cannot be called off, because it has no off switch! Yes, I have removed the off switch and hidden it somewhere in the world's fair, so cleverly, so subtly, that you will never find it! That's what you think, LaRoche! Even if you did find the off switch, you would still need the activation code to turn the switch off. And even if you had the off switch and the activation code, you could never hope to get past the diabolically clever security device located in the evil dog bot's Achilles heel, which is the only way into the dog bot's inner workings. It is hopeless, Monsieur Le Fox. There's no way you can beat me! <laughs> You'll never get away with this, LaRoche. Oh, I think I will. And now, Monsieur Le Spy Fox, adieu! Judging by those monstrous metallic molars, I've been imprisoned in the dog bot's mouth. How humiliating. I must find a way out of this cell so I can stop that evil roach. If I could only reach that fire escape through these teeth. I can gather information about La Roche with this talk balloon. La Roche's goons didn't follow the assembly instructions close enough. They seem to have left a few gears missing out of this contraption. I bet this loose gear is supposed to go somewhere. It's a picture of an extension ladder. I think this gear mechanism is important. It may be the means to my escape. This gear is this gear is too small. This gear is too small. This gear must go somewhere in here. I wonder where this gear goes. That did the trick. Well, I guess it's like they say, the tooth shall set you free. Talk about escaping by the skin of your teeth. Now to stop LaRoche and his evil plans for world domination. My spy watch is beeping. I'd better answer it. Please stand by. Spy Fox, Agent Walter Wireless has intercepted a microfish message from Dottie Dash. Where's it coming from? It sounds like it's coming from an exhibit called We World. We World, eh? Sounds silly. The message is staticky, and Walter Wireless needs to get closer to hear it. You can pick him up here at the Mobile Command Center. By the way, I've recorded Napoleon LaRoche's evil plans, and I'm sending them to you via the Spy Watch. I look forward to hearing the dish. Monkey Penny, out.
That won't. Mobile Command Center. Here's where my. Please stand by. Do you have any information about La Roche? I've heard La Roche has been into some odd plant experiments. I read you loud and clear. Please stand by. How's the mission going, Spy Fox? I'm at a dead end. Maybe you need to talk to some more folks around the fair. Gather some more information. Thanks, Monkey Penny. That bad guy put on those glasses, breathed on that breath device, and the secret door opened. That must be the secret door La Roche mentioned that leads to the inner workings of the evil dogbot. I need to figure out how to get in there. That's the locked door which leads into the dogbot's inner workings. I've got to crack the code to get inside. These rose-tinted glasses might come in handy. Rejected? I need to find out what I need to eat to get the right breath. The Achilles heel door is locked up tight. That bad guy put on those glasses, breathed on that breath device, and the secret door opened. Huh. Although that looks scrumptious, I think I'll pass right now. It says, food of the future. It says, everything on sticks. What kind of foods don't go on sticks? Any food can go on a stick, honey. You just have to freeze some. The spaghetti sickle is very popular. I'm sure it is. It says the amazing caped cod. How about lending me your dark goggles? Since I don't have my lucky clear goggles, I need something to wear for my act. 
Even though these ones are so dark, I keep missing the target. That won't do me any good. That won't do me any good. What's this? It looks like a pair of binoculars. I see a breath analyzer and now I see that it's letting the bad guy type with the glasses on into the evil dog bot's Achilles heel. But what breath is showing on that screen? That breath analyzer is letting that bad guy type with the glasses on into the evil dog bot's Achilles heel. Hmm, I still can't see what breath is shown on screen. There's too much of a rose tint on that screen to see anything. Everything looks rosy behind a pair of rose tinted glasses. I can see that goon breathing into the analyzer. Something's appearing on screen. It looks like pickle pot pie. That breath analyzer is checking for the aroma of pickle pot pie. I just need to eat some pickle pot pie and breathe into that breath analyzer and then I'll be able to get in that evil dog box. I can use this talk balloon to gather information about the breath analyzer food pickle pot pie. Welcome to you call it where you get two, two, two for the price of one. Stereo sheep. I'm doll and I'm Lee. Hello, doll. So nice to have you back where you belong. Is there anything you can tell me about pickle pot pie? By the restaurant. Okay, thank you. You clone it? You got it. Place any one full item on the pad. Press the button. And one become two. Two from one. Glad I asked. You clone it? You got it. Got one, one, two, clone it. Do you have any pickle pot pie here? Nothing like that here. Only food on stick. You should try the Chateau La Roche restaurant. Try a restaurant, hmm? Is this Plat World? Correct, my dear. I am Madam Ladybug, the slightly irritated owner of Plant World. Instead of the beauteous red rose I ordered, I have been sent a mutant Venus flytrap by Napoleon LaRoche. Nice cage, though. A locked cage for which I have no combination. On top of it all, this particular Venus flytrap has something in its mouth. Interesting. It's the off switch. How diabolical of a roach to feed it to a mutant Venus flytrap. I've got to get it out of there and find a rose for the ladybug. No small feet.
I can use this talk balloon to gather information about getting a rose for Madam Ladybug. I'd better answer my spy watch. Please stand by. Spy thought. An informant has a hot tip about the off switch and is waiting for you at the Food of the Future exhibit. Ask for the candy apple. The candy apple. Got it. Thanks. Monkey Penny signing off. Spy Fox out. I like applesauce, don't you? We don't have applesauce on the stick anymore, honey. It kept sliding off. So that's my contact, eh? Brilliant disguise. I'd like a candied apple, please. Certainly, sir. Here at Food of the Future, all food is on sticks. It allows you to enjoy your favorite foods without using a knife or fork or having to stop what you're doing. Here you go, a free candied apple on a stick sample. Well, I have the candied apple. Isn't that just grand? Yes, but I, meaning me, have in my possession the candied apple. Only one candied apple sample per customer. Now run along and enjoy the fair, Pumpkin. Maybe she wants me to come back when there are less people around. Oh well, this candied apple looks good. Watch what you're doing. You want to give me a coronary? Ah, Lenny, you're the apple of my eye. What information do you have for me? Hi, Spy Fox. Listen close. Dan? There are spies everywhere, so don't look directly at me. This leaf contains the information that you need. This is too small to read. What do you want from me? I wrote it with my teeth. Dan? Now I got the split. People are starting to stare. Throw me in the dumpster. Suit yourself. All right, save yourself. That's not, I've got to pick up Walter Wireless at the mobile. I need a rope. We'd all like a rose. <laughs> it's not for me. It's for a ladybug. Can't help you. Wait, I smell roses and there's no one there. You're just in love. Now, maybe the ice rink. It smells like roses. Thanks. I sure hope that evil dog bot doesn't notice that hydrant anytime soon. I just took a shower. It says ice rink. The nice ladybug would really like a rose. Do you think I could have one of yours to give her? I'm sorry, but I can only give out a rose when an ice skater performs a perfect double sour cow. I can gather information about the double sour cow ice skating move with this talk balloon. It's the 1974 Golden Melon Skates Trophy for best sneeze during a performance. It's the 1981 Silver Cup for the best triple mid-air coffee pour going to the masked she-bear. That's the 1996 Big Pig Biathlon Cup given to the couple who can play go fish while ice dancing.
It seems Mr. Big Pig has won every year since it began. I had no idea he was so graceful. That must be the coveted chilling statue of immobilization. It's given to the person who can stand on ice skates in the rink without moving for the longest time. Would you believe me if I told you that I had my own television show on public access called Entering the Wax Museum? Yes, but you may not go in. And don't stand in front of that thermometer. I have to keep a close eye on it. It says security. That's quite a thermometer. Yes, I have to keep a very keen eye on it. If it goes above 80 degrees, the wax figures will start to melt. Then I'll have to run to the phone to call the air conditioning repair place. They put me on hold for hours. It's terribly boring. I can't imagine. What's the worst part of this job? The uniforms make me look like a security guard. But you are a security guard. Oh, yeah? Hey, hands off those keys. Those keys are to all the exhibits at the fair. No one can touch them but me. The door is locked. What can you tell me about that trophy? You don't want to hear about that. Well, all right. If you... It was back in my younger days as the masked chi bear. I used to cut up the ice as a famous ice skater. What do you know about the double sour cow ice skating move? You look tense. Let me give you a massage. I tell you, kiddo, I did the double sour cow as the mass she bear. In fact, that skating move is fully illustrated in the latest edition of the bi monthly magazine Skaters Weekly in a color diagram and everything. Color diagram? May I have that? It's all yours, sweetie. Thanks. How long have you been in the World's Fair souvenir business? Going on three years now. Would you like a souvenir of my three-year anniversary? They're real pretty. I think I'll just wait for the big five-year souvenir.
That's not going to do me any good. That's not going to do me any good. That's not going to do me any good. That won't do me any good. I need ice skates. I don't want my tootsies to get cold. Hold up there, sir. You have a stamp on your hand? No, I can't say that I do. I better stamp your hand so you can get back into the fair. There you are, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you. Go right in, Carlton. Stir, stir, stir. I wonder why LaRoe... Stir, stir, stir. Can you prepare pickle pot pie? Why, I won the French cooking medal of honor for my pickle pot pie. But of course I can make it. Well, that is, I could make it. But I only have one pickle right now. Can't you make it with the one pickle you do have? Absolutely not. Good pickle pot pie must be made with exactly two pickles. Here, you can take this one, and if you can find another exactly like it, I'd be more than happy to make you some pickle pot pie. Thanks, Chef. Two pickles, eh? I'll get those for you on the double. Come into the kitchen with time, no? I wonder if Professor Quack has any plans to invent a good cat bot. That won't do me any good. That's not going to do me any good. Although that looks scrumptious, I think I'll pass right now. That looks delicious. I'm not in the mood to... It says, food of the future. What can you tell me about Napoleon LaRoche? He spends all of his time with his plants. He should be watching your act. He doesn't have proper audience etiquette. What can you tell me about Napoleon LaRoche? He delivered this mutant Venus flytrap to me instead of my rose. Now why do you suppose he would do that? I imagine it is because of his evil nature. What can you tell me about Napoleon LaRoche? He loves the plant world. The temperature is always warm there. Yes, some like it hot.
The only thing standing in between me and the inside is a locked door. That won't do me any good. That won't do me any good. Unless you're playing piano, hands off those keys. Those keys are to all the exhibits at the fair, and they're my responsibility. Well, actually, I do play piano. Just keep your hands off those keys. Hey, hands off those keys. Those keys are to all the exhibits at the fair. No one can touch them but me. Do you know anything about LaRoche? Well, he likes strange plant experiments quite a bit. That plant world exhibit makes him happier than a frog on a wet rock and roll star's shoulder. That's good to know. That's not going to do me any... I've got to get the off switch and stop LaRoche from destroying the world's fair. It says, the world's fair. Spy Fox, I've been waiting for you. Smelly is up to their usual bag of dirty tricks, I see. Walter Wireless, Spy Corps' top tracking buff. Good to be working with you again, Walt. Uh, you too, Spy Fox. The last time I ended up with a fever from being cat scratched. Right. Sorry about that. So, you picked up a microfish message from Dottie Dash. That's right, but all I could make out was something regarding an off-switch activation code before the signal went dead. I've got to find Dottie Dash, by Fox. This must be important. The signal was traced to an exhibit in a fair called Wee World. Wee World, eh? Sounds like your kind of place. Well, hop aboard, Walter, and I'll get you into this Wee World. I'm in there like swimwear. Heh, <laughs> that's my line. Spy heat. This looks like some hot work. How does this gadget work, Professor Quack? Now this gadget, I'm really proud of. You can spray it on something, say like a thermometer, and watch the temperature rise right before your eyes. Now that's a gadget that really rises to the occasion. You can say that again. All right. Now that's a gadget that really rises to the occasion. Light on the palate, rough on the tummy. I bet these are cool. Spy skates, they look sharp, Professor Quack. How do they work? I've always loved the grace and beauty of figure skating. But being in the spy biz never left time for the years of training. So, I created these. You simply slip them on and insert a diagram of the skate maneuver you want to perform, and voila! The skates, with you in them, perform it perfectly. Well, those could sure help to put the villains on ice. Ah, right, Spy Fox. I like these new blueberry-flavored blueprints. Those are the spy skates. A 
Spy Key Replicator Can. What's the key to this gadget, Professor Quack? That's a one-shot camera, like no other in the world. It's specifically made for replicating keys. You take a picture of the key you want to replicate, then bake it in an oven. The picture shrinks down and hardens into an exact duplicate of the key you took the picture of. It can only hold one picture at a time, but you can take a picture over another picture. If you bake a picture into the wrong key, just insert the key back into the camera and it will turn back into key film. I'm sorry, what did you say? Don't worry, it's a point-and-shoot, easy-bake gadget. It's a good thing I need my fiber. How does the spy key replicator cam work again, Professor Quack? You take a picture of the key you want to replicate, then bake the picture of the key, which will shrink down and harden into an exact duplicate of the key you took the picture of. It can only hold one picture at a time, but you can take a picture over another picture. If you bake a picture into the wrong key, just insert the key back into the camera and it will turn back into key film. Okay, so it's a camera that just takes pictures of keys? Right! Don't worry, it's a point-and-shoot, easy-bake gadget. That's the Spy Key Replicator Can. I wonder which key I should take a picture of. Amazing! Professor Quack's spy skates feel like they were made for me! Oh, that's right, they were. This should do the trick! I was so good, I burned the skates out. Oh well, I don't need them anymore. You did it, kid! I haven't seen a move like that since Sonia Henpeck! Thank you. What a perfect red rose. Madame, would this rose be suitable? I thank you. Now, if I could only open that display cage, I would replace that mutant flytrap with this beautiful rose. Sadly, however, I was not given the combination. I see. But you can still have the flytrap. Houdini, I'm not. I'll have to find the combination to that locked display cage. Hmm, it's some kind of combination lock for this display cage.
Just watch this spy heat to join up with a demo of his spy heat. Excuse me, but the temperature has gone up well over 80 degrees. Oh no! I must call the air conditioning repair place! Oh dear, I'll be on hold for hours! That spy heat certainly was the hot ticket. Ah, St. Joan of Bark. She made sure that every child in the world had access to ice cream. She became the patron saint of cold cows. Thomas Elephant, inventor of the mesh umbrella, light bulbs painted black, and shoes made out of bubble gum, gum shoes. After playing in them all day, you could have a stinky snack. George Washington Cougar. An inventor who found 101 uses for gelatin. Gelatin sneakers, gelatin tires, and gelatin bricks. They don't last, but the inventions look cute when they wiggle. Bella a bug, who worked hard for roaches' rights. She worked hard for better housing for roaches who wanted to escape those deadly hotels. Bert Barracuda, the successful songwriter who wrote such pop standards as do you know the way to swim upstream? And my personal favorite, what's it all about algae? Wolfgang Duck, an innovative chef known for his imaginative pairings of fresh local ingredients with his own version of what's tasty today. I like to cook, and I'm an imaginative fox. A chef outfit just might come in handy. How does the spy key replicator cam work again, Professor Quack? You take a picture of the key you want to replicate, then bake the picture of the key, which will shrink down and harden into an exact duplicate of the key you took the picture of. It can only hold one picture at a time, but you can take a picture over another picture. If you bake a picture into the wrong key, just insert the key back into the camera, and it will turn back into key film. Okay, so it's a camera that just takes pictures of keys? Right! Don't worry, it's a point-and-shoot, easy-bake gadget. That's the Spy Gadget vending machine. The Termite Grenade. I'm sure this gadget isn't bug-free, Professor Quack. How does it work? You've got to be careful with this one, Spy Fox. Toss it at something made of wood and get out of the way. It's good for one serious pulping. That's not something you want laying around the house. Not unless you're good friends with a carpenter. These blueprints are an acquired taste I haven't acquired yet. That's the termite grenade. An alarm deactivator. What in the world could this gadget be used for? Well, it's used to turn off alarms. You attach one end to where the alarm signal is coming in, and then attach the other end to where the alarm signal is going out. The alarm signal is then redirected harmlessly into the alarm deactivator, keeping the alarm from going off. It just looks like a wire with two alligator clips on either end. Yes, it's beautiful in its simplicity, isn't it? I once printed these on exploding paper, but man, did those cause heartburn.
A fingerprint replicator utensil kit. How does this work, Professor Quack? You'll eat this one up, Spy Fox. You place the fingerprint sending fork device on your target's plate. Then, when they pick it up to start eating, their fingerprint will show up on the fingerprint receiving spoon device. This is hands down one of your best spy gadgets yet, Professor Quack. I hope to follow it up with a matching salt and pepper shaker. Maybe if I mix these with a little goat's milk. Nah, let's not go there. Which key should I photograph? Key 2 Go right in, Carlton. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah! <laughs> May I use your oven, please? Sorry? Insurance regulations strictly prohibit the use of this oven by anyone other than a trained chef. You don't look anything like a chef. Stir, stir, stir. Stir, stir, stir. Ahem. Oh. oh, excuse me. I didn't see you come in, Chef Wolfgang. What a pleasant surprise. Well, I was in the neighborhood and I thought to myself, my, it has been a long time since I last prepared food inside a giant mechanical dock. Yes, well, of course, as a fellow master chef, you are welcome to make use of my kitchen. That's very generous of you. I believe I... But you may not use my wooden spoons. The purple ones, they are mine and I need them. Of course, how foolish of me. You know, of course, that too many master chefs spoil the broth. Chef Dinah, I can honestly say that compared to you, I am merely an imposter. Oh, Wolfgang. You are such a kidder! You are too kind, too kind. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. I have to admit that at first I thought Professor Quack's idea for a spy camera was half-baked, but it turns out to be pretty hot stuff. Someone's in the kitchen with time. I've got to get... I'll leave my chef outfit here, just in case I need it later. Where do you think you're going? That exhibit is closed. It's all right. I have a key. Oh, well. If you've got a key, then go right in. Ah, the right key. Excellent. See, I told you I had a key. This opening is too small to get through. It'll take someone much smaller than myself to get through.
There you go, Walter. You've got to find Dotty Dash, the microfish. You can count on me, Spy Fox. Look at that cargo. This car is my ticket to the dream house. This is the only way to travel. This just in, design flaw discovered in Dreamhouse. Well now, things are starting to look up. What a shocking waste of valuable attic space. I've been told that it's impolite to stare, but in this case, I'll make an exception. <laughs> this button opened that door. The refrigerator is now in cold storage. My instinct tells me I'm getting closer to Dotty Dash's location. can open and close the top drawer with this button, but will it sort my socks? And the $74 million question is, who invented the retractable TV? This button opens and closes the bottom drawer. Close, but no banana. Typically, I would open and close the drawer by hand. Calm, cool thinking pays off. Film at 11. Around and around and down, this is Walter Wireless. Eureka! Walter, I'm glad you found me. I've been on surveillance here in WeWorld searching the airwaves for anything suspicious. I intercepted a smelly message that has to do with some activation code. My equipment went on a fritz before I could get the whole message to you in SpyCorp, but I think it's really important. I'm sure it is, but if it was a radio message, how do you know it smelled bad? Not smelly. Smelly. The Society for Meaningless Evil Larceny Lying and Yelling. All right. Our evil nemesis. So what was the rest of the message? I need to transmit it to SpyFox right away. Of course. The activation code is Cherry Pineapple Orange. Got it. Walter Wireless calling Spy Fox. Please stand by. Come in, Spy Fox. I read you loud and clear, Walter. Did you find Dottie Dash? I did. I'm going to transmit the activation code Dottie intercepted to you via the Spy Watch. Stay tuned. Cherry Pineapple Orange. I've got it, Walt. Good job, Dottie. Thanks, Spy Fox. The rest is up to you now. Good luck, Spy Fox. This is Walter Wireless signing off. I've got the off switch activation code. Now that LaRoche is in for it. I have waited in line for over 12 hours to ride the ride in famous French pastries of the past. A cream field adventure. Was the highlight of the Let me on.
around because I was not tall enough to go to the turnstile. Dollar kid laughed at me. I thought that one day it would be I who would do the laughing. Ha <laughs> ha I am laughing. Ha <laughs> See it is I who is laughing. Yes. Very soon the evil will be fully wound. And without the off switch there, there will be no way for anyone to stop me from crushing all the church tiles and covering the world. <laughs> The flytrap is locked in this display cage by this rather interesting lock. Star. Square. It's the alt code for the evil dog bot. Cherry Pineapple Orange. It's the alt code for the evil dog bot. Cherry Pineapple Orange. Tell me again how this alarm deactivated. That's the alarm deactivated. That's the fingerprint replicator utensil kit. Go right in, Carlton. Someone's in the kitchen with Tyna! It's the op code for the evil dog bot. Here's where I keep my spy. <laughs> That's not going to do me any good. That's not going to do me any good. It's the alt code for... 
I have this pickle. Don't come running to us with your trouble. I think he wants us to quote it, doll. Very well, Lee. You do the honors. No. After you, I insist. No, please. After you. I'll do it. Don't touch that. Isn't that amazing? Yes, but does it do julienne France? You can always tell what a customer is not going to buy, Lee. You speak the truth, doll. Go right in, Carlton. Stir, stir, stir. <laughs> Someone's in the kitchen with Tina. Here you are, two big juicy pickles. Wonderful. How exciting that you should find two so identical. They appear to be exactly alike. Perhaps they're related. <laughs> the secret to gourmet cooking is careful mixing of only the finest ingredients. Hopefully we'll have the opportunity to try that one of these days. <laughs> Voila! My breath should now be potent enough to get me past that electronic sniffer and into the secret workings of the giant robot dog. It's the off code for the evil dog. It's the off code for... Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Here's where I keep my spy... That's not going to do... Hey, Cod, can I borrow those dark goggles? You can't borrow these until I get my lucky clear goggles back. Well, I need these for my act until then. It's the off cold. see a star, a square, and a circle on this leaf. I've opened harder locks than this. With the right combination, this would be a cinch. I did it! Oh, thank you, sir. I'll 
just replace that atrocious fly trap with his beauteous rose. Nicely done. I can dispose of that fly trap for you. How polite. Obviously, you're a fox with home training. Yes, I am housebroken, thank you. What do you know about that? Pickle Pot Pie did the trick. Now I can come and go as I please. La Roche's breath analyzer was no match for a clever international spy like me. I must be in the belly of La Roche's evil beast. I should have a look around. Look at them. The fools are unaware that by simply entering the fair, they are making possible my plans for world domination. As they enter the fair, they pass through a turnstile, which rotates a series of gears beneath the admissions gate. These gears, in turn, rotate a giant underground threat that passes below the fair to the base of my cleverly disguised giant robot dog. From there, another series of gears turn spinning the drive shaft, which turn, yet more gears that wind up the massive spring that will power my unstoppable, evil, dog bot. When the one million tourists come to the turnstile, my evil dog bot will be completely wound. And then, I will unleash the dog bot on the unsuspecting world and conquer it in the name of Smelly! Ha ha ha! that is a good one. must be the on switch for the evil dog bot. When I find a way to get in that room, I better be careful not to touch that button. Hmm, the opening and closing of that door must be controlled by some sort of fingerprint recognition device. I wonder what would happen if... A picture of La Roche. Hmm. I'll bet if I want to get into that room, I'll have to find a way to get a copy of La Roche's fingerprint. Those fly traps are a lot like the one I got from Plant World. Welder to see me. What can I do to get those goggles? Hmm, that welder turns his back on the goggles every time something comes down the conveyor belt. I wonder if I can get him to stay at the conveyor belt longer so I can get those goggles. The alt coal. I have stayed healthy all these years by avoiding bad guys like him. I... I wonder if I can get that welder to stay at the conveyor belt longer so I can get those goggles. That's not going to do me any good.
I can't go over there while the guard is watching. The guard is watching, so I'd better wait. The guard is watching, so I'd better wait. Hmm, that makes the conveyor belt go faster. I have the guns! I believe these are yours, Kate's card. My lucky goggles! I can't believe my eyes! Ugh, everything sure smells a lot different with these on. You mean, looks a lot different, don't you? No, smells a lot different. Where'd you find these? Sorry, they've been in my pocket for a while. Can I borrow your dark goggles, Cape Cod? Heck, son, you can have them. I don't need them anymore. Best not to use them for flying out of a cannon, though. Thanks, that's good to know. I can't see anything. I need some way to shield my eyes. The only thing that could complete this picture is a plate of pancakes. The light is bright, but this spy is brighter. It's a room full of Venus flytraps. They're under a big bowl. Hmm. I wonder what LaRoche is up to. That won't... That looks just like the perfect place to set this mutant Venus flytrap. The Venus flytrap has the off switch in its mouth. There must be a million flies in there. When that jar opens to feed those fly traps, they must really open wide. That's not going to do me any good. That's not going to do me any good. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. That's not going to do me any good. That's not going to do me any good. I've never seen so many flies before in my entire spy life. Those fly traps must really open wide when that jar opens to feed them.
that's not going to do me any This must be the place where La Roche got that fly trap he delivered to Plat World. That mutant Venus flytrap prefers to eat flies instead of off switches for giant evil dog bots. I have the off switch. La Roche's evil scheme is crumbling. Reach its fiendish fruition. I will be unstoppable. For who or what can possibly stand up to the onslaught of a big giant mechanical dog robot? My sophisticated machine of menace will march across the surface of the earth and claim it in my name. People will shout my name to the skies. The road! The road! The road! And I will say, yes, what is it? All the world leaders will sit up and beg for mercy! It's quite an evil plan, no? Maybe I should contact Monkey Penny on the Spy Watch and see if she has any ideas how to stop this evil LaRoche. not going to do me any good. That won't do me any- I wonder what would happen if I try this again. allowing my fingerprint. I'll just have to get a copy of La Roche's somehow.
Go right in, Carlton. Oh, gracious me. Oh, my oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh. Excuse me, what's the matter? I don't have a single fork for Mr. LaRoche's dinner, and he gets so surly when he has to wait for his food. Well, you know the old saying, surly to bed and surly to rocks. Ah, that's LaRoche's dinner? Yes, spit roasted boot bernays. Don't tell me, the sauce isn't... Oh, yes it is. Ugh. I think I'm going to be sick. Now where are all those forks? Here you are. It so happens I carry a fork for just this kind of situation. A fork? I've been looking all over for one. I learned in boot camp it pays to have a fork at all times. Thank you. I'd better get this fit roasted boot bernays out to Napoleon the Roach before he starts acting like a heel. It's only a matter of time now before I have La Roche's prints. <laughs> Spit roasted boot bernays, my favorite dish. This boot was made for eating. And that's just what I'll do. Pretty soon that boot is going to be inside of you. There it is. Now I'm almost ready to give La Roche the boot. And I don't mean for dinner. but still good. Give this a try, shall we? Like the old song says, a spoonful of LaRoche's fingerprint helps the steel door go down. Pineapple. It's the off code for the evil dog bot. Cherry pineapple orange. I'm positive that that's the on switch for the evil dog bot. At last, the off switch is in its place and the activation code is set correctly. Finally, the one million customer has come to the turnstile. The dog bot is now fully operational. Let's hit it! I don't think this is a good sign. I hope no roach must get to, to, to the off switch. Bad dog bot. Sit. You 
called La Roche, your evil days are over. I don't think so. Sun has not yet set. Go in after it. Always buckle up. You almost caught that Napoleon LaRoche, spy box. Once again, you've gone above and beyond the call of duty. Thank you, Chick. I present to you the Economy Size Award of Eternal Excellence. Thanks, Chief. It was all in the line of duty. For the deductive reasoning and daring deeds displayed in disabling the dangerous and destructive evil dogbot and for saving the world's fair from total devastation, I hereby award this certificate of accomplishment. Signed by the Spy Corps chief and stamped with the Spy Corps stamp of approval. Thank you. 